main event, and it's going to be a doozy. Your pole sitter is the 93 of Chuck Jones. On the outside, in the Wall Dorado, it is the 87 of Mike Michelson. Row number two will be the 65 of ICAMP expert Phil Fow and the one of Renee Angel. Row three will be the 08 of Brandon Day and the 10 of Skeet Phillips. Row four will be the 3X of Scott Keeney and the five of Chris Abreu. And row number five will be Dan Kravitz and the 56, the Kravitron and... Aaron Markham in the 03. And then Josh Woods in the 35 will make up row number six. Oh, baby, this is going to be a doozy right here. Two by two by two with one more to go. Hang on to your hats, folks. KT Heavy. Your point leader currently is Phil Fowler, the 65, and he's going to be starting third. Here we go. Chuck Jones has been a stud all day. Here we go. We're green. Look at Michelson. They bang. He and Chuck Jones. Oh! Harder to the wall goes foul. And that was a doozy. A real doozy. Foul went in their left rear first as he got turned. I didn't see what happened, but that will end his day. That was a good, that was a hard lick for Phil Foul. Oh boy, is he okay? Foul, are you okay? Are you okay? And it looks like he's all right. He's walking under his own power. Probably not happy. He did not need this DNF as the point leader. So this could make things rather interesting here now. Now he, he got turned from the right side. So. Michelson and Chuck Jones. Look at Angel right in there. Michelson on the outside. Chuck Jones hanging tough. The yellow is out. And we got another one into the backstretch wall. And it looks like that's the 3X of Scott Keeney. I missed her completely. So red flag is out. Jack Crew over there attending uh, to Scott Keeney. I did not even see what happened there, how Keeney got in. It's just before turn number three on the backstretch. He got turned around, and uh, boy, it must have been a hard lick because they, uh, they stopped it, so... My goodness. And Justin Beard came running out, so it must have been, he's a little bit slow getting out of the car, but he is getting out under his own power, so good news for Scott Keeney. Hey, let's give it up for Scott Keeney, everybody. Whoa. So first, Phil Fowl gets turned, and he and he had to have gotten it from the right side because he went in left rear first on the backstretch wall, turned him completely around, and he hit pretty good. He actually got some air. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> and then Scott Keeney is walking under his own power. So he's going to be a little bit sore tomorrow, but uh, glad to see Scott Keeney walking under his own power over there. So Cruiser heading out to the backstretch to get, 
get them fired back up. They refire, and we're back under caution. It was red flag for Scott Keeney, who uh, took a pretty hard lick into the backstretch wall just before turn number three. And it's kind of just what we were talking about here a couple weeks ago. It's, Gotta uh, give each other a little bit of room in those close quarters. You can't, you can't forget about that safety. Oh, foul back out. So it must be okay. So Phil foul back out there, which looked like maybe a little bit of a. That would have been a tough blow. It might not be 100%, but at least he can get some points because he is the current point leader in KT Heavy. I think he's got five wins on the season. Five or six wins on the season, so that would have been a pretty big blow for Foul if he wouldn't have been able to make it. So does Chuck Jones from Woodland and Mike Michelson from a Woodland, Washington front row. Chuck Jones has been a missile all day long. And he's just showing everybody what kind of a wheel man he is because he hasn't been here all year. And he is flat rolling it. So it is Jones and Michaels in your front row. Brandon Day and Renee Angel, row number two. Row three is the Kravitron. Dan Kravitz and Skeeter Phillips. Row four is Darren Markham and Carissa Brew. And back there in row number five is the 35 machine of Josh Woods. KT Heavy main event. Light is out. Here we go. Jones. Michaels and they bang into one. Renee Angel going to sneak underneath both of them into three. Angel, Chuck Jones. Little crisscross applesauce. Renee on the outside. Michaelson on the outside. Chuck Jones down on the bottom. Michaelson, Jones side by side as they come off a turn number four and cross the stripe. Angel going to check out on both of them. Michaelson now into the lead or into second. Brandon Day is fourth. Fifth is Kravitz. Sixth is Skeeter Phillips. Oh, Skeeter Phillips got into the back of Kravitz. Turned him around. And Carissa Frew with nowhere to go. Ends up slamming into the side of Kravitz right on the bottom of turn number two. Man, I'm losing my voice already. <laughs> Boy, Angel snuck underneath both Michelson and Jones as they were battling it out off of turn number two. They kind of got high. Angel went right to the bottom and passed them both. So Renee Angel aboard the Steve Gannon chassis is your leader. Michelson in the Wall Dorado is second. Third will be Chuck Jones. Fourth will be Brandon Day. Fifth will be Skeet Phillips. Sixth will be Darren Markham. Seventh will be Josh Woods. And the Kravitron. Dan Kravitz will join the field at the rear. Tough break for Carissa Burr, who is now out. And she pushes to the middle of the infield. That's too bad. She had a, she had a car that was capable of getting up there and possibly winning this deal. 
is Angel, Michelson, Jones, Day, and Markham, your top five. It's a stacked KT heavy field here as they roll down the backstretch. Light is out. Renee Angel, Mike Michelson, and Chuck Jones. Here we go. Angel into one. Jones. Oh, Michelson goes, tries to go upstairs as he closes on the back bumper for the angel. Michelson, he's going to go to the bottom, into one. Can't do it. Cannot close it. Look at Markham and Kravitz. Markham underneath Kravitz. Kravitz does a little crisscross applesauce, and he picks up the spot. So move him to fifth. Markham to sixth. Phillips to seventh. Angel now starting to stretch it out as she flexes her muscles into number one. Michelson was close for a minute, but yeah, he's going to have to really chew it. Josh Woods now. Everybody getting by. But Angel's got a pretty sizable lead at this point. Something you cannot give her. Boy, Angel, bust the stripe. She reaches down, grabs a handful of the knobs. Michelson in the second spot. Jones is third. Oops, Skeet Phillips with problem because he's down the bottom. Uh-oh. Josh Woods there. Everybody getting by. Oh, Skeet Phillips is done. Skeet Phillips is done as he heads to the mid area. So right now the battle is for second. Mike Michelson and Chuck Jones. Angel with a comfortable lead. Gonna have to really mess up in order to uh, lose this one. She looks pretty good at the moment. Brandon Day is fourth. Fifth is Kravitz. And he's sneaking up on Brandon Day. Day not out of the woods yet. Foul has called it a day, so he doesn't... He does not finish. Uh-oh, problems for Josh Woods, and he's right in the middle of the race. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's out. Angel, getting ready to put Darren Markham a lap down. but couldn't seal the deal. He'll bring it home second. Renee Angel going to win it. Boy, Renee Angel showing she's a... Uh, she's the real deal here today. Angel, Michelson, Chuck Jones. Brandon Day and Dan Kravitz. Your top five. Good main event for KT Heavy. Super Sport 200 will be next.
After blowing a motor a couple weeks ago, Ty Easton is back, and boy is he. He's your pole sitter in the 11 from Happy Valley, Oregon, on the outside. Is the 22 of Mark Wooten from Eagle Creek. Row number two will be the four of Dave Wooten from Eagle Creek and Wade Big Daddy Bauman from Aloha, Oregon. Super Sport 200 main event as they roll through turn number three. Light is out. And here we go, underway. Nope, we're going to go one more. Got the 11 working good. Oh, a little herky jerky there is Easton. Second spot is Mark Wooten. Third is Wade Big Daddy Bauman. And fourth is Dave Wooten. Just about a straightaway lead now already for Ty Easton. Crosses a stripe into one, out of two, and there is second place, Mark Wooten. About a four second lead for Ty Easton. Oh, Big Daddy, ooh, a little free, hangs on to it. Mark Wooten, way bombing, and Dave Wooten, all knows the tail. Wade Bauman doing a nice job in the 27. Get up there, Big Daddy. Go show him what you got. He's the young gun of the bunch. But boy, he sure come a long way. Wade Bauman doing a nice job behind the wheel of that 27 machine. He is, oh, he's gonna go for second, maybe. Coming up almost just about a straight away back now. Oh, bombing. One to go. 
But Ty Easton has almost caught the tail end of the field, actually has, coming to the flag. Mark Woods in the hand of the second, Wallman third, fourth will go to Dave Wooten. And Ty Easton wins it big. Wade Bauman, nice drive in that 27 machine. Mark Wooten brings it home second. Dave Wooten will be third. That brings us to LO206 Lite. For those of you, we are live on Spreaker. You can tune in, you can go to our Facebook page or you can go to terrybridgesracing.com backslash listen dash live. Two oh six Lite. O3 is Corey Markham on the inside, on the outside. A newbie. But a good beat. Eric Blois in the Product 41 Arrive and Drive. Michael Vickers. Lori Fuller. Steve Rambo. Steve King. Nate King. And Dylan Adcock. Julie Day. Lori Fuller. And Alan Brown. Make up your 206 light for the lead. Markham gets underneath Blois. Blois upstairs. Markham. Vickers underneath or outside of Rambo for third. Got it. Nate King battling Dylan Adcock. That's for six. Fifth now. Adcock goes to six. Markham starts to open it up on Eric Blois in the 14 machine. And Vickers within striking distance. Alan Brown, but ready to go a lap down from your leader, Corey Markham, as they come off of turn number four. Lois now to the rear bumper of Markham. He can see him. Caution is out as Rambo goes around way up high in turn number one. He's back underway, but the caution is out. So Eric Blois is going to have a shot here as this closes everybody up. But Corey Markham, been here a time or two, no stranger to this kind of heat. Veteran of the Dirt Wars. So Vickers is sitting third behind Eric Blois. Anybody and everybody that's been in that Product 41 machine has absolutely run up front. This is an arrive and drive program that's second to none right now. And they got great equipment. They've got a solid crew that takes care of the drivers. They have been fast week in and week out. So if you're thinking about wanting to try this 206 class, that's what you want to do is get a hold of Ronnie Swires at product41.com and uh, inquire about their arrive and drive program. It's good stuff. Dylan Adcock having some problems on the main straightaway here just past start finish. Looks like he's stalled there. Track crew over there going to try to Oh, it's, it's like it froze up. Yeah, can't even pull the pull starter. So Adcock's day will be done. Motor issues. Takes out Adcock. Corey Markham, Eric Blois, Mike Vickers. 
Nate King, Alan Brown, Julie Day. Lori Fuller and Steve Rambo. Rambo is eighth. Fuller seventh. Julie Day sixth. Nate King is fourth. Alan Brown is one lap down. Here come your leaders. We are underway. Green flies. Vickers. Oh, look at this. Underneath for the lead. Blois got it. But he goes too wide. Markham back underneath. Markham's going to lead it into one. Blois rolling it tough upstairs. Does the crisscross. He gets in too hot. A little more applesauce by Markham. Going at it. Markham now. Seals the deal for the moment. As your leader. Blois is in second. Vickers third. Fourth will be Nate King. Fifth will be Julie Day. Blois is there. He's got the piece. He can get up there. Boy, for his first time behind the wheel, he is doing an outstanding job. His teammate Kellen Dean running heavy has got a shot to win the 206 main event. Right now it's Corey Markham, Eric Blois, Michael Vickers, and Nate King. Blois is there. But it's hard to beat that experience of Corey Markham. Markham up on the berm. Blois up on the berm. As the laps are winding down. Corey Markham. From Milwaukee, Oregon, your leader. Eric Blois from Beaverton, Oregon, in the second spot, within striking distance. And he's starting to feel it in his neck. You can you can see him holding his head. One to go. And I know Blois is glad to see that one. It does. It takes a toll on you. It, it's not as easy as everybody thinks. There it is. Markham with, holds the challenge of Eric Blois, who gave him a good run for the money. But I think uh, a little bit of that fatigue setting in on Blois. Nate King will bring it home in the third spot. Vickers will be third. Another victory for Corey Markham. Wow, that kid can wheel. Another great job by the Product 41 team. That is, uh, they're strong for an arrival drag program. They're pretty darn good. How about that Nate King? Doing a nice job as well on the 57 machine. Otherwise known as our fart carts out there for their main event. Austin Henderson. The True Tech Automotive number 69 is on the pole. On the outside is the 71 of Mr. Waters.
and we are green. I tell you, when to keep your eye on is Brendan Gregg, the youngster. He's in the fourth spot as the green has flown. Vince Stepner. In the Culver Motorsports Repair. Oh, and he goes around in turn number one. He's back underway, no caution. He'll have to work his way all the way up from the tail end of the field. Henderson, Waters, Brennan Gregg, 10 years old, and he is rolling it. He got Tony Andreas in the fourth spot. Fifth is Clay Devin. Sixth is Roger that barbecue, 10 4. Oh, look at Brendan Gregg. He's going to go to the outside of Waters. Oh, he got a little bit too high there. Waters is closing in on Henderson. Caution is out. As we've got Tony Andreas around on the bottom of turn. Number one and two. Kind of high centered on the berm. So that helps Vincent Stebner for sure, who had spun early in the tail end of the field. So that closes everybody up, gives them another shot. Where's your heater, Brendan? Don't have one. No heater here. It's a real deal up here. Henderson, Waters. Brennan Gregg, 10 years old, and he's sitting in the third spot. Fourth is Tony Andreas. Fifth is Clay Devin. As our Predators are under caution. Now, I don't know if Andreas will get that fourth spot back. He did spin, I believe, so I don't know. We'll see what scoring says. Light is out, so... Hmm. And we're green, underway. Henderson. Brandon Gregg in the third spot. Fourth is Tony Andreas. Clay Devin in the docks photos, number 84, sitting in the fifth spot. Andreas tried to find a way around Brennan Gregg. Gregg's going to go for the second spot. Not this time. Henderson. Waters, Gregg, and Andreas. We're talking about good experience for the young guy. He is doing a nice job rolling in that third spot. Got to be way fun and running by yourself. Henderson up over the berm. Oh, and he gets by John Andreas. So John Andreas goes a lap down. Devin working on Tony Andreas. Brennan Gregg loses a spot to Andreas. Now to Devin. Now to Roger that barbecue. So Waters is second and hasn't been able to close up that ground to challenge Henderson.
Brent and Greg now on the bottom. He gets by. Roger that barbecue. That puts him back up into the fifth spot. Devin is fourth. Third is Tony Andreas. One to go. Henderson. Be a good win for Austin Henderson. And how about that run by Tony Andreas in the third spot? Henderson, Waters, Andreas, Devin, and Brennan Gregg. That is your top five. All right, so we're live on Spreaker. Those of you tuning in, welcome. If you're at terrybridgesracing.com, glad you're there. Main event action here, Slideway Saturday. This is the first time back for most of the Speedway guys since the BK. Outside, Suchich on the bottom, inside, row number two on the outside, Shane Dolan, here we go! No Brown goes from the outside pole to fourth. Wow, we. Suchich, let's see if she can do anything with Renee Angel. It would be probably a huge upset if she could. Well, she's not running away like she did. Sucha just right there. Angel can't make a mistake. Oh yeah, Sujic is right there. Iker in the third spot, Brown is fourth, fifth is Shane Dolan. Yeah, Bailey Jean is right there knocking on Renee Angel's door. And I mean right there. Turn number three. Suchich has got to be perfect if she's going to want to get up there. Close. Just 
chance right there. She better take advantage of it while she can. chance gone by, so Sue's just running out of shots at it. Angel, so far, has withheld the pressure from Bailey Jean Sucic. Gonna be a tough road to home. Oh, look at that, good run off of two. Yeah, wow, here we go. Could it? Oh boy. Angel looks like she might be a little tight in one and two. Yep, Suchis just can't quite muster the muscle to get up there. One to go. Angel gonna hang on to this one barely and she gets it. Susan shot 20 of shots but just couldn't quite get up there to give her a run. But great run by Bailey Jean Susan in the second spot. Third will be Iker, fourth will be Brown, fifth will be Dolan. First three were. Poor Jeremy gets a whipping by three girls. Yikes. Hey. Just kidding, Jeremy. You rolled good. Heavy main event. This should be a doozy. Your pole sitter from Dallas, Oregon in the 99 is Chris Hatch. Black Star Motorsports on the outside. Keep your eye on this one. The product41.com. Arrive and drive. That's Kellen Dean. Row number two, the 66 is Greg Norman on the outside. Is the 37. Kimmer Cardings, Brian Williamson. Row number three, the 03 of Corey Markham. On the outside is a 281 of Brandon Rutledge. Row number four is the 45 of Rowdy Brian Green. And the 57 of Steve King. Row number five is Kenny Harmon and Michael Reed. Here we go. Green is out. Dean and Hatch. This ought to be a battle right here. Got free there and one. Rutledge gets by. King gonna go by on the bottom as well. Well, that's a tough hole to dig yourself out of right there. Williamson is back a ways as well. Almost a lap down is the 37. Look at Corey Markham in the 03, boy. That thing is right on the edge it gets a little rowdy look at that move crisscross applesauce though mark them oh rowdy gonna try it again oh boy i thought he was gonna get that left rear wheel rutledge boy these cats are rolling Pass your leader, Norman in second. Third is Markham. Fourth is Brian Green. Fifth is Brandon Rutledge. There is Dean now back in the picture. But still a long way to go if he wants to catch Mr. Hatch. Oh, he's going to go underneath Rutledge. Into three, does. Caution is out. That's what Kellen Dean needed right there was a caution. 
Oh, and I think that was Rutledge into the looks like front stretch wall. I can't see him. He's out of my view, but uh, I don't know if that was P and Dean got together off of four. Not sure what that deal was there. But for sure, this caution helps him. Hatch, Normandon, Markham, Green, and Kellen Dean back into the top five. King just out in six. Kenny Harmon seventh. Michael Reed eighth. And a saving grace too for the 37 of Williamson. I'm sure Mr. Rutledge is in a happy camper right now. He joins the field at the tail end. That puts him 10th. Hatch, your leader. Dean's first time rolling heavy. And it's a little bit different, a uh, little bit different story than light. There's a lot of experience out there. Here we go. We are back green. Hatch. But keep you on that 0-3 of Corey Markham. Oh, he and Normandon going at it. Look at Rowdy in there. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that move by Dean. Oh, yeah. Dean to four. King tries green on the inside. Can't do it. Rutledge has already done away with Brian Williamson. He's in seventh. Mark him for second. Got it. Here comes Dean. Oh, and he gets into Normandon. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that too well, but. That's a tough break for Norman. That puts him well back. That's a pretty big hole this late stage of the game. shoved it in there but didn't class move by the 03 but what a battle for the lead um no, i don't know if anything's gonna happen with the other deal tough break for greg norman and third will be kellen dean i think 41 